apply. I would like to apply for food stamps. What are we supposed to do? Well, we don't have a refrigerator to put the food in. We're going to get some Okay, I can't do it this week because we have to see whether or not we can afford it. Be participating in a simulation of what it might be like to be a part of a family with a low income trying to survive from month to month. You will be living in poverty for one month, a month consisting of four 15-minute weeks. The object of this experience is to sensitize us to the day-to-day -day realities of life faced by people with low incomes and to motivate us to become involved in activities which helped to reduce poverty in our community. The Poverty Simulation Program was developed by the Missouri Association of Community Action Agencies. Uh, the association decided based on needs that they saw in their community that not a lot of people understood uh, what poverty is or what impact poverty has on families and households in their communities. And I, will, I do have to advise you that we will have to be shutting off your gas if we don't receive payment in the next week. Okay. So the poverty simulation is divided into two sections. One section is community resources. And so we um, enlist volunteers to play the roles of typical um, businesses and organizations that exist in many low-income communities. Well, I'd give you maybe five bucks for it. I've got a lot of stereos. Yeah, I'll take a hundred. Well, I'm sure you'd take a hundred, but I'm only going to give you five. I'll take a hundred. Thank you very much. Well, you can keep your stereo. All right, that's fine. Thank you much. You don't want to make a counter offer? The second part of the simulation are actually family roles, and there are 26 family roles uh, being played by the participants. Typical roles that are um, representative of many of the families that we face. Uh, disability, a family with a disability is there. A family uh, that is working hard to make ends meet is represented in the simulation. All of the types of issues around poverty that are represented in our community are represented in the poverty simulation. And so participants are given a script and based on their family's plight, they develop strategies to help ensure the well-being of their family. Yeah, I'm going to get to social services. I'm just waiting for Glenn to come back with some transportation passes for us because we can't get anywhere right now. You have no transportation? No, his car got repossessed. He can't get to work. Have a seat and I'll be able to assist you. I can give you transportation. Second question, is there a fee to cash this check? Uh, if you have an account with us with at least $50, no, but you do not. So yes, there's a $15 fee. Okay. okay. And now, are you here with work? Uh, yes, I'm here for work. And she's my okay. Okay. Now, is Roland with you? Okay. Um, you can't bring your child to work with you. Uh, I'm sending her home with the <laughs> groceries and staying for work. Oh, how is she getting home? Give her bus pass. She's nine. The goal of the poverty simulation program is really to educate people about poverty, its uh, impact, and its effect upon families and households and communities. But it forced us to reprioritize everything. Uh, and we didn't have any housing, so we had to scramble to get income, um, drag the kids with us everywhere. So, and it put a lot of pressure on grandma to, to do more for the family, so. Super frustrated and angry at points. Like I finally got a job secured, but I didn't have childcare and it was too late to start that week because you know I had to take my kid to daycare. So there are just like a lot of other factors in play in order to even be able to start looking for a job and then once I got one. A lot of people just say that they had no idea about how difficult it could be, you know, living in a situation like this. And when they experience it in a simulation, they come away with a, a much greater understanding of, of uh, how difficult it can be. I believe if we're going to change anything, it's for us to first start with us individually, us making a commitment to make a change in our communities. And you all know the saying, if you're not part of the solution, you're part of what? 
You're part of the problem. And so I would just encourage you all to find something to do in your community and get busy. Leave a legacy behind when you move on in your community. And there's something for all of us to do. And so again, we want to thank Liz and the people here at the Bar Association Foundation for the opportunity to participate with you in the poverty simulation um, today. And we hope that you'll continue to process what it was that you went through today and then find ways to apply what you've learned to your everyday life to make our community a better place to live. So thank you and blessings to you as you continue on in your professional careers. Thank you.